Another five minute mystery. This is Mike Davis, editor of the Herald. Your paper's not supporting me for re-election as district attorney. If you want an interview, you're out of luck. I want an interview, all right, but it's nothing to do with the election. Someone broke into my home tonight and stole some valuable evidence against Rocky Marino that I was going to turn over to you tomorrow. What sort of evidence? Enough of the kind to send Marino to the chair. Great Scott Davis. If I could do that, I'd put the election hands down. Don't let my publisher know, or I'll be looking for a new typewriter. You better come over here right away. My secretary got a look at the man who broke open my safe. This is Miss Mitchell, my secretary. Can you tell me exactly what happened here tonight, Miss Mitchell? I knew about the evidence Mr. Davis had against Marino, of course, and I came here tonight to retype the case summary that Mr. Davis had prepared. Yes, Croydon, I've been working on this expose for several months. Tonight it was to be finished. Tomorrow you would have been handed the election on a silver platter. We've got to recover those papers. I know what the thief looked like. Excellent. Now, please proceed. He was rather a tall man. He walked with a limp. The strange part of it is that he didn't wear a hat. Uh, what was the color of his hair? Uh, to tell the truth, I, I didn't notice. There wasn't too much light in the room. Where were you when all this eyewitness stuff was going on, Miss Mitchell? Well, I had just opened the wall safe here when I heard muffled footsteps in the hall. I knew it couldn't be Mr. Davis, as he had just phoned me a minute or two before that. That's right, Gordon. I just had time to push the safe door shut and run behind the sofa there when he came in. Did he go directly to the safe? Yes, I didn't have time to shove the picture back over it. I was afraid to show my face too much, so I stayed hidden most of the time behind the couch. How long did you have to stay there? Oh, he worked on the safe about 20 minutes. Then he finally got it open, took out the papers, and ran out. I say, tell me, Miss Mitchell... How long have you worked for Mr. Davis? Uh, about a year. Why? Because you're out of a job. Your story is nothing but a pack of lies. What flaws in Miss Mitchell's story caused the district attorney's suspicion? In a moment, we'll know. our story. But I told you the truth, Mr. Croydon. Then how do you explain the inconsistencies in your story? First you told me the thief walked with a limp, and then you told me he ran from the room. But the big lie in your fairy tale, Miss Mitchell, came when you said you just had time to push the safe door shut and then hide behind the couch. If that was so, the thief never would have had to work 20 minutes to open the safe. It never could have been locked. Come on, Davis. You've got a front-page story on my re-election as soon as Miss Mitchell returns the evidence. Mm -hmm. 